Yeah, and that fragrance that I am about to introduce you to from Kurt Elliott is EKJ. And that is the initials of the fragrance creator. So EKJ, and then you have Camille 46. So this is the based on a true storyline. And this is basically a love story. So it's based on the story of him and his wife. And uh, the fragrances are completely unisex because he says, yes, he does wear the EKJ, but he smells amazing with the Camille 46 on and vice versa for his wife. So I'm going to try to get the Camille also, but I am definitely loving the EKJ. So this review is going to be completely about EKJ. Thousand years later. you y'all to a bright, fresh, alive, crisp, enticing fragrance that uh, I've just been introduced to. You know, this is it's, it's not overly complex. It's easy for the uh, fragrance uh, connoisseur or the uh, novice to enjoy. So, uh, you already know my route, my Mount Rushmore fragrance is Chris Collins, and that yeah, that's going to be the Sweet Taboo. Uh, of course, the Ovation. This is a fragrance that all year long, any day of the week, any occasion, this is perfect to wear. Uh, Pink Mahogany. can't go wrong with that this is legendary this is the uh, Pass Encore Nome and this also any time of year I prefer this in the warmer weather but definitely any time of year you can pull this one off this with the pineapple note with the sugar this is an Aventus alternative if you don't it doesn't smell anything like Aventus but the pineapple note in here is uh, rich and crisp. And then a fragrance I can't give enough accolades, Soul Cafe by uh, Chris Classic over there at Savoir Fair. So I am going to be doing a review today on a new fragrance that has not come out yet. But... Um, Kirk Elliott over there at Kirk Elliott, um, that's a luxury design brand, and uh, he's got more than just fragrances, so go over there and check him out. Um, he sent me one, so I am going to spend the day with this, and I'm going to give you my thoughts of it right now, and then I'm going to do another review after I spend a full wearing with this. But as of right now, whew. This is actually the prototype, so still being tweaked a little bit, getting all the calculations right. And uh, it's going to be uh, two parts. There's also going to be a Camille 46 coming out, and um, that's going to be out of the based on the true storyline. This is basically a love story between uh, him and his wife, and it's coming out in June during their anniversary. And oh my God. This is developed as a reflection of the designer himself. The Camille 46 is going to be based on his wife and a reflection of her. And they are both, uh, although the EK, the EKJ, although the EKJ is going to be for men, uh, it's actually completely unisex as well as the Camille 46, both completely unisex. Oh my God. So, I mean, now that's love. That is love. This is going to be based on their that love story of their union. And I just love this concept. The notes are, I have the notes wrote here. I hope I'm saying this right because I had to look it up. Muhuhu is like a uh, cedar wood from Africa. And that's the note that pumps. Oh, my God. Uh, it's going to be fig, tonka bean. Clove, cinnamon, leather, musk. Oh, this is so good. This is sweet, calming, aromatic. Mm. It's got a balsamic undertone. 
Mm, mm, faint smokiness. Oh my God. It's almost puts you in like a meditative state. And that's coming from the Mahuhu wood. Mm. I mean, it just, just, it relaxes you and relieves all of your stress. This, uh, mm, and it's a good eight hour scent. I mean, the, the sheen from the oil. I don't know if you can see that, but look at all that sheen for that oil. I'm not even all the way up on the camera. You can see the, you can see the glow. That's how much oil is in there. So I sprayed it on my hand. I don't know if you can really tell, but look at that sheen. So yeah, and it's pumping. Like I said, this is, I can tell it's an up close and personal fragrance because of the naturals, natural essential oils in these fragrances. Mm. And then they last. I wore the um, the quintessential, even though it's really a cold weather scent, but I'm in a controlled environment so I can get away with it. Eight hours plus. And this one is something special. And, oh, I love this. I would love to wear this to a formal event. You're, this is going to be a compliment magnet. It's definitely different from anything on the market. Oh, and then that musk is pumping. And clove is like in the background. You got the tonka and the fig for a little bit of sweetness. And that leather for the masculinity, but not it's not overly masculine. It's just it's just right. It's not all in your face. It's not animalistic. It's just subtle and just like regal, just just completely like this is he didn't tell me how long he worked on this but i can tell with the anniversary coming up he's probably worked on this for a good year or two if not longer this is like one of those things like a love project where you sat in the lab and just sat back i mean this is mm. dude i'm i'm in i'm in I'm in fragrance heaven right now. Man. Whew. Dude, this just takes me away. I feel like I'm on a cloud right now. I mean, this is not even a, this is not even like a beach vacation smell. This is just like Damn, man. This is like sitting in the back of a, a Bentley or a Rolls Royce field. This is like Yeah. This reminds me of like sitting in a in a Cullinan or a Bentayga. Yeah, this smells like sitting inside a Bentayga. Yes. Oh my God, this is this is premium luxury. Yes. Oh, I'm rarely at a loss for words, but this is magnificent. Mm. Yeah, with that sheen, I know this is an eight hour plus scent. Dude, I can't wait to smell the Camille 46. This... And this is niche. I mean, I. Well, it's not considered. He's not considered a niche company because he designs other things. But uh, it's an independent company. But this is niche quality fragrance right here. And you don't need a whole lot because look at all that oil. So only a couple of squirts is all you're gonna need. And this pump is wafting in the whole room right now. It's clouding up the room, and it's. And this smells good. Hey, this comes out in June. Y'all need to get online and order. Oh, he's got some fly shades on there, man. He's got some fly shades on there. Um, a lot of a lot of different items. Of course, there's um, fragrances set up for different times of the year. So that unconditional is a monster. Get your nose on that. And of course, quintessential. You cannot go wrong having that in your fragrance rotation. Like I said, this one here. The EKJ, it's not out yet. It will be out in June. And when this drops in June, 
Dude, hurry up and get this is gonna sell out fast. I can guarantee you that this is gonna sell out extremely fast. Nothing else. I have over 400, maybe 500 fragrances now. I haven't counted in a while. So I have over 400 fragrances. Nothing in my rotation smells like this. Muhuhu wood, I have never even heard of before until I got my nose on this. Mm. I mean, this is just a just a cool laid back scent. And this is this can be your signature scent here because this can be worn all year round. So some scents can be your summertime signature, uh, some can be your wintertime, then you got some that are versatile that can go all year long. This one can be an all year long um, signature scent. But I don't see wearing this uh, dressed down. I mean, it can do that, but that would be disrespectful. This right here, to me, is more semi-casual all the way to formal. And you're going to get compliments galore. This is so, I mean, this is unique, but it's not, it's not that animalistic or that that niche to where nobody likes it but you niche this is this is a people pleasing niche but it's it's so unique i mean this is this is so unique nobody else is going to smell like this this is oh as i said before this is majestic and regal well i feel like i got a lion's mane right now wearing this dude this is just like this is this type of stuff you wear when you pull, you pull up like this, and let folks you gotta let them know. Mm. Man, Kirk Elliott, sir, you have knocked it out the park with this one. You know, everybody has that one fragrance that is uh heads and shoulders above all their other work. And is that's what puts them on the map. I think this is going to be that fragrance for the Kurt Elliott line. And like I say, he has some, he has some knock them out the park fragrances. But I think this one is going to be the standalone heads and shoulders of uh, Mount Olympus of fragrances. It's definitely in my Mount Rushmore. No, 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 no. Mount Olympus is up there with the gods of fragrance right now. So yeah, this is. On the Mount Olympus is right along with that. So uh that's pretty much all I got to say about that fragrance, man. Hey, y'all like, share, and subscribe, Quintessential Bachelor channel, and I will be back with y'all real soon.